This one's a little tricky. You know the story of Noah and the Great Flood, right? Mm? Okay, humanity grows wicked, God floods the planet, family survives on floating zoo, classic Sunday school. Well, here's what really happened. As you know, the darkness feeds on human suffering. Well, let me tell you, if you think life sucks today, imagine how bad it was back then, before indoor plumbing. The, the darkness was at an all-you-can-eat smorgasbord of pain, and every meal was making it stronger. Seeing as the Angelus was indisposed at the time, God decided to step in with one of his great ideas. Noah built the ark, God floods the earth. 99.9% .9 of mankind dies a horrible death. Darkness is destroyed. Huzzah! But... Did that happen? No, sir! Guess who was waiting once the world has dried off? That's right, needless to say, the Almighty had a little egg on his face. According to legend, God breathed his remorse into the first seashell that Noah found once he left the ark. That shell became known as Yahweh's Lament. I know, it's a different spelling, it's missing some letters. Place it to your ear and you will hear the voice of God. That said, only the truly mad, or the nearly dead, can fathom God's almighty words. Which is kind of scary, seeing as how I think I can hear something whispering to me right now. Okay, okay, not gonna think about that right now. Anyway, that's the deal with this thing. It's either Yahweh's lament or it's a seashell. The world may never know.